All right, welcome to Chemistry 111. This is going to be a six-week summer class. The lecture portion will be 100% online, and the lab portion will be 100% in person. If you want to figure out where to start on this, because there's a lot of information on this page, I would suggest you start at the Welcome tab. And if you go and you open the Welcome tab, it's going to tell you the structure of the course, that there are going to be um, assignments for every chapter. There will be practices and quizzes. You will have four exams that will need to be taken at a testing center and be proctored, as well as an optional proctored comprehensive final that will be used to replace your lowest exam grade. Um, your basic information is going to be um, over here on the left-hand side. So um, after you've realized what the course is going to involve, I'm going to tell you this course is very low cost. The textbook is free. It's on OpenStack, so just uh, click on that link and download it however you're comfortable with it. The lab manual is also online, um, and you can download the entire lab manual by just clicking there, or you can go over to the tab on the left side where it says labs. Please make sure you download your labs before you come to the first lab on Saturday of this week. Now, continuing, you're going to be required to sign up for an online homework set. Um, trust me on this one, it really isn't that bad. It's going to have two portions, practice and quizzes. On the practice, you will not lose any points for retrying the question. So you get to redo the question until you get it right. It's got hints, um, tutorials, all sorts of things. The quizzes, you'll have, I think, four attempts for the quiz to get the right answer. If you get stuck, that's when you need to email or text me. Now, speaking of texting me, that's going to be under Remind. But quickly, when you get yourself Exactly. Make sure you follow the system requirements. In particular, that flash here is updated and enabled. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So you're going to have to take and you're going to have to get yourself your text, your lab manual, and your SAFLI. So what else do you need to do? Well, communicate best with me, and I would also advise with your fellow students, is the Remind app. Um, Remind app is simply a texting app. It allows me to text you without actually giving you my phone number. Um, but either way, it is by far the best way to get a hold of me. Just go ahead and sign up for this. Your text messages will start coming tomorrow. Um, so, remind. So now, you know that you need the book, the homework, the lab manual, and the Remind app. There will be very regular help sessions. We will be using Zoom for that. I will send you out a link for the Zoom. Um, it's going to be here under Online Help. You want to know what you're, how you're going to be graded and what is due and when it is due, please open the syllabus. So when you he go here and you open your syllabus, we're going to have our syllabus right here. So what do you need? Again, textbook, lab manual, and sapling. Make sure that your computer is fast enough to make all of this work. For lab, make sure you bring to lab every time we meet goggles, uh, proper clothes and shoes, meaning you can't have sandals on or short shorts. Make sure they're appropriate clothing. Um, and make sure you printed out the lab or you have your lab uploaded onto a computer so you can write it in on your computer if you, or if you have an iPad, that's fine as well. Um, your complete schedule is right here. So. Um, our first class starts tomorrow on Wednesday. The safety quiz is due on Friday. You have to have it complete before you show up for the lab on Saturday. Lab meets at, starting at 10 o'clock, and we will work through each of these labs as we go. Now, grading. There's going to be four exams. The exams are going to be proctored, meaning they're, you have to take them at the testing center. Please ignore the Newton. I have to completely fix that. I've got no idea why that isn't up to date. So this is how you're going to be graded. Sapling homework, 100 points. That's the stuff you keep getting to practice on. Sapling quizzes, 100 points. Lab, however many lab quizzes or lab reports you have, they're going to add up to 200 points. You're going to have four exams, and they're going to be worth a total of 400 points. And if you have missed an exam or if you have done very poorly on an exam, you will be allowed to take a comprehensive final that will be able to replace your lowest lab grade. Obviously, you know the policies on cheating, but obviously, please don't. It never helps anything. So with that, and the schedule here with your dates that you have to take things by, um, that is our syllabus. So continuing back to what you need for this class. So once you've looked at your syllabus and seen what is due and when, 
go over here and open chapter assignments. So chapter assignments are going to help you go through each of the topics to prepare yourself for these exams. So once you hit open chapter assignments, go to chapter one. And if you look at chapter one, there's a lot of material here. The first thing I start with is the learning objectives. It tells you everything that we expect you to be able to accomplish to do before the end of the, or by the end of the chapter. It tells you what's graded. What's going to be graded is the practice of the um, homework assignment out of Sapling, the quizzes out of Sapling, any labs that might be involved. Um, exam one is going to cover chapters one and two, which is why it's not listed here, as well as chapter one extra credit. Extra credit, every chapter will have five points of extra credit. Now, where would you find that? So if you go over here and it says course materials, everything is linked over here under course materials. My advice, and here's the instructions that are going to give you my advice, would be to start and print out the study guide. After you've printed out the study guide, take a look at it. It's just problems and basic ideas to help you work through the material. Read the text or have the text out as you're looking at the study guide and look at the PowerPoints or the videos um, or even go to Sapling and start working through the problems in Sapling, making sure that you know what it is that you have to accomplish or master by the end of the chapter. So take notes here in the study guide, work the problems on the study guide, now do the extra credit. If you want to do well, by far the best thing you can do is make sure you stay on top of Sapling and do your extra credit. So to make sure you know what you're doing, there are going to be selected answers to both the study guide and the extra credit over here. There are, in fact, a complete set of answers over here on the left tab. There may be errors in them, so if you don't agree, um, it does say it may have errors. Um, you can bring it to my attention. I will try to get it fixed. So all the material that you need. So now you've got the study guide, you've got the chapter. So where are these videos, etc.? So if you go down to section one, so make sure you scroll all the way down when you look at any one of these chapters, I'm going to give you a remember, a list of things that you need to make sure you can do. I'm going to link the text and then I'm going to have some videos. Now, most of the chapters actually have my videos, but um, Chapter one and chapter two have a lot of videos by a fellow named Tyler DeWitt. They're in fact fantastic. And I'm using his rather than mine. So go through, make sure you can do the material. When you're done, go to the next section. So my next section here is phases. I will fix that spelling mistake and classification of matter. And as you go through that, this tells you again, the basic concepts you need to know, some videos as you need to do them. And so if you're looking at section two on the study guide, make sure you can do this these or master this amount of material. Again, continuing on the rest of the sections, as well as videos in here, a list reminding you remember the um, metric prefixes, sig figs, etc. So it's all here. The PowerPoints are here. So if you like the PowerPoints, um, go ahead and do these. One of the other things that I consistently put in here is what to know for the exam. What to know for the exam is going to be a list of vocab, and then it's going to be a list of major topics. Remember, memorize the metric conversions, be able to do these, um, what's exact, um, formulas involved, know the work of, just a lot of information, the basic um, ions you need to know, et cetera. So that is going to be um, what is in the what to know for each exam is gonna be one of those. So once you have done all of those, go and do the practice and the quiz on Sapling. Make sure, again, you complete the extra credit. It's fantastic practice. So once you've got the extra credit done, what do you do with it? Well, you're going to come down here and you're going to submit it here. Um, and we will give you extra credit. It's five points per chapter of extra credit. And it's really going to be a great deal of help. So once you've got chapter one done, you're going to go on to chapter two. So I think that's about it. Again, what you need to make sure you have is you know what's on the syllabus, you know when the due dates are, you know how to navigate chapter assignments, you have signed up for Sapling Learning, you have signed up for Remind, and the one other thing that I have in here is I just have other information. So what to know for the exams is in here. Sample exams are in here. A thing called class notes where I've just tried to take and um, condense the amount of information for each chapter into one small spot. And also in here is going to be a section called exams. 
when you go to the exams, it's going to tell you how to um, print out and do the exams, um, the passes for these. It's going to discuss how to do subscripts and superscripts. And it's also going to give you a, a copy of what the equation sheet looks like. So take a look at the equation sheet here. This is the one you're going to be getting when you go to the testing center. All right, that's all I got.